I'm from New Zealand and I am the New Zealand Privacy Commissioner. I'm here because there are three themes to this conference, convergence, creativity and confidence. And I'm here because of the third theme, which is about confidence. And confidence has two broad sides to it. One is the confidence for people to use technology and to be able to use the internet and access all the wonderful things on it. But the other side of it is that people should feel confident to use the internet from the point of view of putting their personal information online. And so there's a great deal of work that needs to be done to make sure that people can feel secure when they are, they are using the internet. Well, there are several ways of attacking that. The first way, of course, is to raise the awareness of business and to make sure that businesses, uh, particularly the multinational corporates that operate worldwide, have very good uh, systems that they design in protections for people when they're actually designing their systems. And then they are very transparent about what information they collect from their customers. And then if something goes wrong, they are honest and transparent about that. They tell their customers so the customers can protect themselves. And of course, when they're collecting the information, they need to be very honest and transparent with their customers and tell them what they're going to do with it and only use it for the purpose for which it's collected. But also, uh, the other main way of tackling it is to raise the awareness of citizens about what's happening to their information on the internet. The applications of the internet are so widespread, uh, so, uh, you know, so much potential for uh, new applications and new uses. People get carried away with the wonderful things that they can do on the internet, such as on YouTube or MySpace or Facebook. And they tend to, f in the, their enthusiasm for the new application, they tend to forget about what might happen to that information. And a simple example is, of course, that a young person puts information on YouTube and about them going to a party or misbehaving in some way, an ill-judged photograph, and the five years down the track, an employer can call that up from the internet and say, this is not the sort of person I want to employ. So raising people's awareness is one of the most important things that we can do. Well, my greatest hope for the future of the internet is that people should be able to access information freely. It is a revolution. It's the information age, the information century. And I think that that's going to empower people if we can make broadband and the technology accessible to the likes of uh, people inside the house who can't leave their houses, such as disabled or women at home with children or uh, people in countries who don't have a lot of money, uh, this technology has the capacity to be quite simple and to empower all of those people, as well as the business people and the highly educated people who are already using it, to access information. It will be uh, a new kind of freedom for people. Well, that's more of a technical question, uh, but I, obviously uh, broadband is important and uh, miniature versions of the technology are important. It needs to be simple, it needs to be lightweight, it needs to be able to be recharged easily, perhaps by, say, in a, in a, a remote uh, rural area of an underdeveloped country, perhaps by using solar power. And also uh, by making sure that open source software is available and that there are as few barriers as possible in the way of people being able to own and use and manage the internet. And of course they will need to be educated to use it. Well, as Privacy Commissioner, uh, I'm concerned with data protection and the protection of the individual. And obviously there is a huge fear, which has been expressed by many of the, many of the speakers here today, that uh, the power of the internet to collect and record and archive information and then make it accessible uh, is, and also to combine it uh, is going to open the way for criminals and um, potentially um, businesses who, who are not as responsible as some others to misuse that information and that in turn could destroy people's confidence in the internet and 
then the, all the advantages that, that, that we see of the internet can potentially be destroyed. So my greatest fear is that people will lose confidence in accessing the internet. Well, New Zealand, like many Western developed countries, is a, a citizens are great accessors and users of the technology. And the conference has opened my eyes, uh, perhaps beyond the, the pure information aspects of it, to the wider implications of the internet. That people are saying things like, the future of the internet economy is actually the future of the economy. Uh, that the future of the internet is the future of the world. And it's going to affect society and, and all kinds of ways that we socially interact, not just business and government. So that's something that I think I've become clearer about since I've been at this conference. Well, at the moment I think my one word would be explosion. It's an explosion of information and access.